Good morning, my fellow Indonesians. I'm Elizabeth Kiligloria from SM Betung Museon, here with the latest news. The 79th Independence Day of the Republic of Indonesia, with the theme of Nusantara Baru Indonesia Maju, was celebrated with various activities across different cities in Indonesia, including an event held by the Regional Leadership Council of the Maluku Women's Union, or Perwama Ina Yogyakarta. The event took place at Goa Jemara Beach, Jalan Lintas Selatan, Patihan, Gading Sari, Kapanewan Sanden, Bantul Regency on Saturday, August 17, 2024. The activities organized by the Regional Leadership Council of Perwama Ina Deie were infused with a relaxed and familial atmosphere. The event began with the national anthem of Indonesia Raya, followed by a speech from the general chairperson of Perwama Ina Yogyakarta. The program included competitions, entertainment, and a communal meal. The competitions included eating crackers and balloon dancing, involving all participants, including parents, teenagers, and children from the extended family of DPD Perwama Ina Yogyakarta. Non Kaliki, chair of DPD Perwama Ina Yogyakarta, told the media that in commemoration of the 79th Indonesia Independence Day, Perwama Ina in Yogyakarta organized this event as means of socializing, gathering, and getting to know each other. She stated that without events like this, the community wouldn't have the opportunity to meet due to each member's individual busyness. The event was conducted with a Maluku cultural theme, specifically the Batita meal tradition. As is well known, Maluku has many traditions that are still preserved today. One of them is a Batita meal a culinary tradition where people eat together in large numbers, guided by the principle of kinship. The area where this tradition is strongly practiced is the village of Oma, in Pulau Haruku subdistrict, Ambon, and Maluku. In general, during a Patita meal event, attendees will be served various types of traditional foods characteristic of Maluku people. These include cassava, boiled bananas, sago, Kohu Kohu salad, grilled fish, fried fish, sambal cholo cholo, fish soup, a sago based dish, papeda, vegetables, and many other traditional foods. The patita meal is a revered tradition that continues to be preserved, symbolizing social values, justice, harmony, and togetherness, as well as strengthening relationships among people and with the Creator. In this tradition, all attending families bring food, which is then served on banana leaves and eaten together. This practice is a way of preserving Maluku culture, while respecting the local culture of the place where they live. The Parwama Ina organization is a national organization that focuses on social issues and education. It is independent and non-affiliated with any religions or political parties. The organization, which was founded in 1976, is based on Pancasila and aims to unite and empower the potential of all Malukan women living outside of Maluku. Last year, they conducted stunting care activities in Gulan Progo Regency and contributed to events in Maluku, both through ideas and social activities. Looking forward, it is hoped that Maluku women will continue to contribute to national development wherever they are, maintaining harmony and being a driving force for unity and making life pleasant for others. As reflected in Burwama Ina's motto, wherever we are, we must benefit others. I'm Elizabeth Kayla Gloria from SMBTU Musebon, signing out.